What is up guys? Welcome back to Bottled and Bond. If you are just joining this video for the first time and this channel for the first time, go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you get notified every time I post a video. Hit the bell as well. And if you like what you see, go ahead and like this video and leave me a comment. It always helps when you guys leave me comments and let me know what, the, what you guys thought, what you guys recommend. Today, this weekend, following Kentucky series, we are headed back to Kentucky. This time, Louisville, or like some people say, Louisville, Kentucky. And we're gonna check out the Rabbit Hole Distillery. Bam! So this is Rabbit Hole, specifically Hagel. Rabbit Hole was established in 2012 by Kevin Zamanian, I believe. Met up with his uh, current partner now and she got him into bourbon and he was a Scottish guy, Scotch guy, and this, that, and a third. Regardless, uh, we've actually visited the Rabbit Hole Distillery. Pretty damn nifty modern distillery, if I must say. The tour was great, very informative. Towards the end, there's a bar. You can make some pretty nifty cocktails. You got a nice overview of downtown Louisville right behind the bar as well. It was a pretty damn good experience and definitely one that I would not mind visiting again. This specific bottle is Hey Gold. It's Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It is coming in at 47.5% alcohol by volume making it a 95 proof. The Rabbit Hole Distillery also makes Cave Hill, Boxer Grill Rye, and Derringer which is aged in Pedro Jimenez Sherry Cask. It's actually finished in Pedro Jimenez Sherry Casks. Hegold is the name of a German stone cutter that settled in Louisville prior to 1850. So they went with that name. There's a little bit more history to that. The specific mash bill is 70% corn, 25% malted rye, and 5% malted barley. Nonetheless, guys, let's open it up. Oh man, these pops are getting better and better. But these corks are not. Mm. So, automatically, instantly, to the nose, is pure honey. Like a honey, just a barrel full of honey liquids, and it's easy and very fragrant and delicious to smell. You then start to pick up a little bit more of those uh, woody, oaky, charred smells to it. And then there's something else. This reminds me of a coffee cake. You do pick up a, a very slight cinnamon and a decent amount of honey, but you do pick up a sweet coffee, brown sugar smell deep within there that you don't have to fight to find. A little bit of a cherry with a maple syrup. Once again, guys, this is, this is classic bourbon notes. This is what you come to expect from a good bourbon, but every now and then, such as the 1792 with the banana nut bread, you're gonna find a couple different notes that remind you, they blend in so well with each other that they remind you of specific things that you might have had in your lifetime, which adds on to the fact that your palate is subjective. And I will say this, this, this coffee-like, coffee cake-like note is very pleasant to the nose. And I can only hope that I pick it up on my palate. Cheers. Wait a minute. So, initially, coffee forward. As you put it in your palate, it tastes like a sweet, dark rose coffee. Very sweet, dark rose coffee. But once you go mid-palate, you're picking up more of a sweet, woody note. Some kind of sweet, woody flavor Hmm, this is kind of hard for me to pick up. And yeah, you do pick up the honey and, and all that and the brown sugar, but I, I always like to focus on that one specific note or taste that makes every whiskey different from the ones to the left or the right. Because at the end of the day, if it doesn't, then it's just a typical bourbon or a typical whiskey. Cheers again. There's something about this bourbon and once again, I cannot figure it out. The way I see this is 
there is a flavor in here that I do like, but because I have not savored anything like it in the past, I can't figure it out. Right now, what I'm picking up is a woody, oaky honey, but that is so basic and so generic. I wish I could pair this up to something that I have had because it's different. There's something about rabbit hole, Hegel, that is different on this one. And if it's gonna take five sips for me to figure it out, then it's gonna take five sips for me to figure it out. I'm on sip number four. And I'll say this. It's almost like a little bit of molasses, but not as sweet with a dry cinnamon towards the finish. Here comes the fifth. You know what? This reminds me of wine. The sweet honey that I'm picking up, but very woody with a dark, dry, unsweetened, almost molasses. Reminds me of a dry Cabernet Sauvignon or, or some kind of bourbon barrel aged wine that I've had because it's not so sweet. It does taste dry while still keeping its sweet body heavy, almost mid to heavy body, but not so strong in the palate. Very drinkable. <laughs> that may be that may be it. Maybe that's just what I'm picking up, but it does remind me of a wine mid palate. Towards the back end, it's unfortunately just like any other classic bourbon, but you know, you got just a little burning or whatever, but um, in the beginning, you do have some pretty good notes. Very uh, sweet, woody, oaky, coffee, cake-like notes towards mint palette, cinnamon, but then it almost reminds me, like I said, of a dark fruit, a dark wine, dry molasses, cinnamon, spice. I'm gonna leave it at that. If you guys have picked up something different from Rabbit Gold, Hey Gold, let me know in the comments below. Besides that though, on the bourbon itself, definitely recommend it. Nonetheless guys, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below if you guys have had it. Definitely recommend the tour, highly recommend this specific one. I haven't had the other ones, but I do plan on eventually because you know what? It's a damn great distillery. I think they're doing great things. Uh, they're very modern and they're Louisville, so why not support them, right? I think they're pretty freaking good. Let me know what whiskeys you think I should be reviewing next here on Bottle Them On. I'm Ozzy. This is Rabbit Hole Hey Gold from Rabbit Hole Distillery in Louisville, Kentucky. And this is Bottled and Bond.